all of you hope you guys are great so as we have already discussed about the project which we're going to build right now but there is a change so in the last video i show you the ui part which we're going to realize in this particular like real estate app so i hope you guys have watched this particular video and that i show you the ui which we're going to use in the project but i'm not going to use this particular ui we're going to use something else because i got a client and he want us to build a decentralized app for the real estate industry so we're going to utilize this particular template in his project so that's why we can't use this particular template but i have an alternative so you can see this is the entire template we have designed it has a lot of pages let me show you if i come back here if i open this click on this localhost 3000 so you can see this is the ui we're going to utilize it so we have this pop-up metamask let me type my credential and let me click on unlock and i'm locked into my application so you can see here i got my avatar and everything is working absolutely fine so this is how the ui is going to look like it's a really huge applications and we have different categories so like our real estate will have multiple categories so some property will belong to housing some will belong to commercial some will belong to rented office so that's how we're going to categorize the entire property in this decentralized space application so this is the hero section here we'll have all the properties like a like a particular location or you may call it a category okay so this is the hero section we have and here we're going to have all the recent updated okay or maybe we can include the bidding system here so that's all property is going to display here right now you can see that this is the demo image i have added it's look like nft but we're going to add real property images into this if i scroll down here you will have the feature section if you want to include the nft so we not focusing into the nft but it's better to have this kind of styling in your tab so later if you want to include any functionality into your project like if you want to allow nfts bidding or nft trades that's what you can implement into this so this is the nft section and here we're going to highlight all the products so right now you can see if you click on the all products here we're going to have all the product the all the all the property which user had listed so you can see how many biddings are there so everything is working absolutely fine so you can simply toggle to the category section so right now it's saying that art music videos but we're going to modify it as per the like categories okay so you can simply switch different different categories and that looks absolutely fine and here we're going to display the top seller the top listed like individuals who have listed their property their name and their wallets here we're going to have some top collections so you can see we have some collection section and this is the photo sections so that's how our hero section is going to look like if i come here you can come here here you will find the balance you can add fund you can edit all of the things so it's everything is working absolutely fine so recently i got a client and they want me to have that particular template in their project so that's why it took me a little bit time to design this entire ui part and to make a tutorial on it okay so we have the about a section you can see this is how the about a section would look like let me reload the browser okay you can see we have a beautiful animation going on all the categories if you come back to the explore section we have so many pages so this particular project is going to be huge okay it has all the pages so you can you can add centralized system into the contract into this particular project as well so we have the collection section so if you come here here we'll have all the collection which we want to list in this project project <laughs> and we have the activities so we can display the recent activities recent uploads here we have the authors so we'll have the entire author he can switch to different tabs and looks absolutely incredible and they can easily able to follow okay okay the social media icons are not displaying let me see what happened and they have a bunch of things so right on the the 404 error is also working fine if i click here we'll have this one we'll click on this report and it's going to open this model we'll click on that it's going to let's let's have a look this one is also and we can claim honor okay that's nothing happening so you can see this is how the author pages will look like now let's come here let's go to the upload explore section and we have the connect so if you click on connect that's how it's going to look like let's come back to the creator so in this creator we're going to display all the user has listed their property and their balance and the name okay so that's how the creator section would look like we'll have the details section here we go to display the entire detail about the property you can utilize this entire ui part in your nft marketplace okay because listing building an application on decentralized whether it's an nft or a real estate it's has the same 
UI part okay so it will looks like something like this you can simply switch to different tab here you will have all of these options you can simply switch to different tabs look it looks credible you can place a wedding that's how it will look you can cancel that one and you will have multiple options you can share it and you can make it uh let's say let's click on this make a report okay it's absolutely fine so we have all the ui part is looking absolutely incredible and this one is looking good now let's come back explore section we have done with this now let's come to the product and that's how it will look the product section okay it's just like a collection one now we'll come back to the blocks so i hope you guys would like it so this is how the block section would look like not we have the block details and here we have the entire category so it looks also pretty good it has commenting system if you want you can include that one now let's come back to the contact so that's how the contact would look like pretty decent you can connect the back end or you can just do a hard code data now come back to the explore what we have here in the explore section so you can see we have all the items you can click and you will have all the properties all the nfts whatever you want to display but we're going to display properties okay we have the arts and you can see that it has likes okay like those who have liked this property or those who have bid in this property so what we're going to display is here we're going to display the bidding is we're not going to display the bidding I'll, I'll i'll talk about the functionality the feature we're going to include into the smart contract in the next video okay but here we're going to display the actual people who are interested those who have liked the project or put comment so their data we're going to display here okay we have beautiful tabs that looks pretty good now what we can do we have the forgot password so like if someone forgot the password they can simply do that and here we have this one okay this page doesn't exist now let's come back to the pages under the pages we have a couple of pages so we have included the forum section so as i told you that this marketplace is absolutely huge you can do tons of things so this is looks pretty good they can search let's come back to the login one and this is how the login and logout functionality would look like now let's come back to the new section and that's how the new section would look like they can easily able to put the email address and they can receive the newsletter now we have the ranking so you can display the ranking of the top performing assets so you can see that's how it will look so all the properties which are getting high like high revenue generating higher amount of transaction this property we're going to display right up here you can see we have a beautiful property section and my ac is not working till so just a moment and we have this upcoming and okay not a big deal so this is the upcoming section we have that's how it will look like if someone wants to make any kind of offering they can have something like this okay now we have this edit profile so from here they can users can edit their info entire information like addresses descriptions name and other other properties okay so what else we have here we have 404 error so you can see everything's working absolutely fine and it's 100 percent responsive for all the devices so this is the template which i'm going to use for building our app it's absolutely working fine okay so hope you guys have liked it and just let me know are you guys excited to build this project because I want to know that how many of you are really excited and how many of you really like this particular UI part because when it's come to building a dApp when it's come to building any project as I always tell you that you should build project with an intention that you are starting a startup that should be your mindset you should never build any project just like that for learning okay you should start building any project whether it's a small one or big one build it for like you are building a startup so that should be your mind okay that should be your entire mind setup and that will give you a real learning because when you will have that kind of mindset you will put your entire effort you're going to give your best in terms of security in terms of designing in terms of feature in terms of promotions you will do your best so that's why i'll tell you that try to follow this complete project because this project is going to be huge and we're going to divide this entire project in multiple section so in this project what i will do i'm going to focus mainly on the core functionality like blockchain smart contract and the one thing i want to highlight here that we're going to use third web because many of you have asked me to make a project on third web so we're going to use third web for building our dap okay so that's the only thing i'm going to talk about in this video hope you guys have liked it and from the next video we'll start going to create our backend part the smart contract and testing deployment once we're done with that we're going to take this template and we're going to connect with the 
smart contract we're not going to build this entire template from scratch but otherwise it will take too much time you can see that how big this entire ui part is you can see we have so many pages it will take almost two months if we start building this project together it will take like close to like two to three hours for building one particular section that's why i designed this entire one in advance so you guys can simply get it and we can simply connect the main functionality and make our project live okay so hope you guys have got an idea that how we're going to proceed it and in the next video we're going to start working with the smart contract so first we'll build the smart contract connect and deploy we're going to use polygon test network mumbai test network we're going to use for deploying our contract fetching the data so this project is going to be a very special one because in this i will try to explain you every single thing about smart contract handling and how powerful third wave is exactly how you can fetch the data with events how easy third week make our life when it's come to building tab okay so you're going to learn a lot of things hope you guys will enjoy that and i want to write down in the comment section that you guys are excited and how is this particular ui part okay do let me know in the comment section so that will give me enough boost so i can start working on this project very soon and i will also get motivated okay so hope you guys have liked this project if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you in that have a wonderful day and one thing i want to tell you that if you guys have any suggestion, any ideas which I can include into this project and do let me know, do let me know. That would be really helpful for me. It will help me to teach you in better way, bring something new into the project. You guys will get advantage and I will also learn something new, some new ideas. Okay, so do let me know in the comment section if you guys have any idea, any any thought regarding this project. So I'll try to cover that as well. With the time being, that's the only thing I want to talk about. If you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe and do let me know. Yes, I'm excited and I'm going to build this project. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.